Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, you are going to know about so many very important points related to the topic metrics. And mainly, we are going to talk about the eigenvalue properties here, which will help you a lot to solve the questions in your upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam as well as in the Gate Physics exam. Let's quickly talk about all these points and don't even miss a single point out of these important points of eigenvalues. Because yeah, from these points, there are great chances you can expect the questions in your upcoming exam. So first property is that for any square matrix, if you are considering its transpose matrix as well, you are finding its transpose matrix and you want to know the relation between that square matrix and its transpose matrix. So you should know that for both the eigenvalues will be same. Okay. Next thing, if we are going to talk about the eigenvalues of a diagonal and a triangular matrix. So for both the type of matrices, the eigenvalues will be equal to its principal diagonal elements. Now next we are going to talk about invertible matrix. So guys, invertible matrix is a matrix which is not having any eigenvalue equal to zero. Clear? Now in this case, it is also known as non-singular or non-degenerate matrix. If determinant is equal to zero, then we'll call it singular matrix. But if determinant is not equal to zero, then we call it non-singular matrix. Clear? So determinant, we are relating it with the determinant part when we are calling it like the non-singular or non-degenerate matrix. Clear? So matrix is invertible if determinant of that matrix and mainly we are talking about a square matrix here is equal to zero which is also known as non-singular or non-degenerate matrix next thing guys whenever the determinant of any square matrix is equal to zero you will call it singular matrix next thing for any square matrix which is going to be n by n order matrix okay let's say a is n by n order matrix then guys in that case we will call it invertible if there exist okay and n by n square matrix b such that a b the product of a and b matrix is equal to the product of b and a matrix okay and that is equal to identity matrix i or you can even call it a a inverse is equal to a inverse a is equal to i clear because b if you will find from the first equation b will be equal to a inverse so you can even write it as the equation to have written here or expression second expression now next if a is invertible then a inverse is also invertible and if a and b are invertible then a b is also invertible that means a b whole inverse will be equal to b inverse a inverse so you can see related to invertible matrix how many points we have considered and all are very 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 important next guys if we are going to talk about next important point that is if a uh, matrix a has okay if any matrix A has eigenvalue is equal to lambda, clear? With corresponding eigenvector x. For any value, which is like the value of k, we are considering here 1, 2, 3 and so on to a to the power k has eigenvalues equal to lambda to the power k. Okay, A was the square matrix which was having the eigenvalue lambda. Okay, and its corresponding eigenvector was x. So even if you are finding A to the power k matrix where k is going to be 1, 2, 3 and so on to then its eigenvalue will be equal to lambda to the power k. That means the way how you are changing the matrix, similarly you are changing the eigenvalue as well. Okay, and its corresponding eigenvector remains same. There will be no difference in eigenvectors. So sometimes you can get the questions based on these kind of properties. Next thing. And you can directly write the answer if you are familiar with the properties. Otherwise, you will put so much effort in getting to the final expression and knowing about this thing that what will be the eigenvector corresponding to the new matrix. Now, when you know this property, you can write it directly. Next property. If a is an invertible matrix. Now you all know what is invertible matrix. I have already explained you above. Clear? Now, if A is an invertible matrix, then it's if its eigenvalues are like lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 and so on too. So it's going to be and if its eigenvalue is lambda. Okay, right now we are considering just one eigenvalue representation corresponding to its eigenvector x. Then A inverse has eigenvalue lambda inverse corresponding to the same eigenvector x clear so a inverse is also having the eigenvalue lambda inverse if a was having the eigenvalue lambda a inverse will have the eigenvalue lambda inverse 
and its eigenvector will remain same that will be same as x as we had in the previous case clear that means for only a okay now next thing eigenvectors of a matrix a with distinct eigenvalues are linearly independent so eigenvectors of a matrix a with distinct eigenvalues are linearly independent clear distinct means if eigenvalues are different different then eigenvectors corresponding to those eigenvalues will be linearly independent clear so guys i hope that all the points i have discussed in today's video will be clear to all of you and guys there are more points which we will cover up in our next video okay so don't miss any of the videos because all these points are very 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 important for your upcoming exam so you all should know about all these points and they will surely help you in doing like uh, the questions easily and in very less time so i hope that this video was helpful for you and the remaining points okay we will discuss in our next video so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end keep on watching all the other videos i have provided you on this channel that is mission net physics exam if you are new on this channel you can subscribe this channel and if your friends are also preparing for the upcoming exam okay you can even share the videos with them the videos will be helpful for your friends also also guys now i would like to tell you about the unacademy plus subscription if you want to get the guidance by the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation you can take the unacademy plus subscription after taking the unacademy plus subscription you will get so many benefits like weekly quizzes doubt clearing sessions mock tests pdf of important notes and many more things which will surely help you in doing the best preparation for your upcoming exam also guys by using the referral code that is anjali arora you just need to write all the things together no space and in between write this referral code apply it and get the 10% discount in the total an academy plus subscription amount okay so guys in this way you can even do the best preparation in the remaining time before your exam with the an academy plus courses you can take the an academy plus subscription if you want to get the guidance by the top educator if you want to attend the live classes in a more regular basis okay so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end i hope that each and every point which i have discussed in today's video will be clear to all of you and keep on watching all the videos i am going to provide you as upcoming videos will also be very important thank you everyone for watching this video till the end